Blessings upon blessings to each and every one of you that comes to chime in to this commentary video. Come on in, come on in, come on in. Just know your opinions and thoughts are truly welcome on where the comments down below. So one more time, you know your thoughts and your opinions are always welcome where on the comments down below. But your thoughts and your opinion are always truly appreciated by me and respected by me. So at the end of the day, it is what it is. Let it roll out. Let your tongue say what you gotta say under the comments down below. So let me get into it. So we all know Carmen Corey had put a whole stage up of pretending that they was broken up, pretending they was separated, pretending they had broke up. You know, y'all already know if y'all seen it. The list go on and on. But Corey cocky ass decided to come on Instagram and state that it was all a skit. It was all for entertainment purposes only. That if people are intrigued with, like they'll say, the Love and Hip Hop show and the reality shows on TV, that they don't understand why they're just going so hard on them and why they're so big mad about the whole situation. Carmen has yet to come forward to state how she felt about the situation of, I'm going to say, scamming her subscribers, pretending that they are broken up pretending that she was going through this you know situation of allegedly you know being her own woman finding herself living in her truth etc 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 as y'all know by now y'all probably know the whole story how i feel about this whole situation my thoughts and my opinion and my input on this whole situation is in all honesty i feel like to the extent they just scam the fuck out of their subscribers. They just play on the subscriber top. Some of the subscribers are gonna be die hard black. No, they didn't. It's just entertainment. Y'all people, we already know what the hell y'all gonna say. We already know what people are gonna say. But logically thinking, like, if you're so true and dedicated to your subscribers and you fuck with your subscribers, I can see y'all pulling this prank on, let's go say April Fools, whatever. But this kind of situation will be happening every other month or so, or more every other three months when shit dies down like i feel like to the point where corey did this and carmen did this because allegedly allegedly corey was caught up in some scam situation with the raffles so i feel like he owes people money i allegedly i'm hearing as well in this youtube situation you know other channels that corey owed people money at one point in time so maybe Corey found himself, I said maybe, keyword maybe. Maybe allegedly Corey finds himself in a situation hole where he has to pay these people back, where he has to run the numbers up again with doing this skit. I understand that, you know, and I completely understand half of these content creators that, I'm going to say half, keyword half, half of these content creators that does come on, they do a lot of skit. And people are tuned to know that they do it because, you know, they know how they run. But to the Carmen and Corey situation, they know they fan how they feel about the situation where Corey and Carmen breaking up and allegedly, you know, Corey's always cheating on Carmen and they people, some people feel bad for Carmen, some people did. But at the end of the day, these motherfuckers are laughing at their subscribers in their face. These people are just playing with this subscriber's top and then on top of it he always talking nasty to the females always downgrading them always saying that people are hating on them always talk about the low poverty people the middle class people etc you like you got so much hatred towards them but at the end of the day those people that you talking down on those people that you're downgrading Corey are the same people that are watching your channels and putting money in your pocket so humble yourself motherfucker just humble yourself because really in reality you are so much mouth you got a lot of mouth but you're gonna cross the one one day and they're gonna humble you or even worse god's gonna humble you because the way you are conducting yourself on youtube and on social media it shows a lot about your character it shows a lot about you overall and carmen i'm gonna say this i feel people should stop feeling bad by car for carmen allow carmen to continue to learn on her own uh, through the hard times whatever allow her continue to learn and she wants to continue to involve herself in some clown shit involving herself in some messy crap involving herself and playing with her subscribers where they, she knows there's a lot of females that's going through the situation she's going through so they're going to sympathize with her they're going to help her <clears throat> cheer her up cheer her on and you know show her that you know you could do it on your own and she was doing it on her own because she was running the numbers and i don't take that from her make your bag baby girl but don't be like to me karma is a fucking follower she follows 
a lot of what Corey do. She has not yet to stand on her own. She has not yet to be her true to herself. Because the way Carmen's conducting herself, the way Carmen's acting, it's showing she just want to be something that she's currently not. She's trying her hardest to be something she is not. And that's my opinion of this whole situation. Like, instead of you downgrading, I mean, Corey, instead of you downgrading these people that just want to state their opinions and thoughts on a situation that you try to play on your subscribers, top hit, like, why don't you pinpoint the situation of raffles? Why don't you pinpoint talk about scamming? Why don't you pinpoint on the, on the situation of the scam, scamming you got going on? The reason why you talk on these people like that, the reason why you trash these females, talk on these females, etc., etc., it's because you try to hide the truth that you want some that shit that you got going on and you just trying to paint the picture like it's perfect. But what I don't like is these some i'm gonna say some keywords some of these youtubers love to scam their subscriber love to play with the subscriber top like they're not being real and authentic to them you feel me okay we all know it's a lot of that he says oh people we all know reality tv but a lot of people came to youtube for many, like years ago one on youtube because they saw youtube was like somewhere People bringing real shit on there, real stuff on there, and people liked it. But over the time, over the time, they started picking up and became a scripted, and became all this bullshit. And that's why people gotta know. People gotta be ten toe ahead of the game with these motherfucking letter know and read between the lines of how they act. Half of this shit that you see from people breaking up, from people, from people breaking up, from people to you know. Making a sob story from people pretending they separated and they going through this whole big, uh, this whole big situation. When in reality, this all could be a skit. Not out of ten is a skit. Not out of ten, it's just for, like they say entertainment purpose only. So y'all can't. Uh, I feel bad for subscribe, but y'all can't just be giving y'all, uh, you know, feelings into the situation and be awoke when it comes to these people on here. And then he said, he went on to say that the biggest uh, celebrity, I mean, big YouTubers that they watch, whatever, was reacting to it. And he, he also said something there about them. But you jack, like, Corey, jackass, you, 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 you put it out there so people want to react to it. So why is you so hurt in your feelings? If it's not true and it's scripted, why are you so in your feelings? Why are you so in your feelings? I don't understand. I really don't understand. I try my best not to cover the Carmen Corey situation, but I had to say my point. I say at the end of the day, stop feeling bad for Carmen, because at the end of the day, she's a grown ass woman. She know what she conducted. She know what she's going through. She know what she's withholding. Don't feel so bad about her because she's allowing it. She's allowing this whole situation. I know the people say, but she young. No, 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 no. Miss me with the young shit, because when you're in your twenties, and when you're going to your twenties to your thirties to your forties, see up there. Y'all of age and y'all know from right from wrong. Y'all know what y'all gotta do. Y'all know what y'all have to do. I can see the teenagers and the young ones, but the 20s and up, y'all know what the shit y'all doing. So miss me with that bullshit. She know what she doing. She know what she got going on. She knows how to, like I said, play with her subscribers, get the money and get the bag because she knows how to click and view. But when y'all, like I told the person that I rock with and we talk time to time, you know, out here, in real life, you know, in real life, where I'm at, I told them, read between and how they act, and this shit scripted, this shit fake, I ain't falling for that bullshit, but I just had to get my, you know, thoughts and opinion on this whole situation, because why, the way Corey came out on that live, he came out so cocky to the woman, to the people that was reacting to it, like, oh boy, ugh, shut it, shut it, go away, shut it, but at the end of the day, it is what it is, I feel sorry for the subscribers, a lot of them had different thoughts and opinions for the whole situation. And a lot of people just like they don't give a fuck. And I understand, just don't give a fuck because at the end of the day, they said that they're not with NEB management. They went after they said they left NEB management because they managed their own shit. Something in the gravy that they had to go back to NEB management. Why? We don't know.
Because why? Shit ain't always what the way he, they're making it seem. Stop being so flabbergasted with all these content creators that were flashing this, flashing that, all this. At the end of the day, we don't know what goes on behind the scene and what's being run behind the scene. They went back to net management for a reason. For a reason. But that's all I have to say. Other than that, your opinions, your thoughts are truly welcome in the comments down below where we could agree to disagree, but it's going to be respectful at the end of the day. That's all I say. This is my opinions and thoughts. This is my input on the whole situation. Your opinions and thoughts, your input on the situation, always welcome in the comments down below because at the end of the day, I wrote solo. But I wish all y'all love, peace, light, and blessings. And to the meantime, between time, it's your girl Queen Rose and I'm out. Go straight to the mother, and I'm 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 straight to the mother, and I'